anything, I remember. No. But there's no reason to be afraid. Free, free yourself to work with this. Like there this? No, yes, absolutely. No problem. No problem because this is not optical fiber. This is just for delivery electricity and water. The laser is here. There is no optic. This is the first in the world laser free of any optical fibers. And now I'm going to talk. Excited to yes. get more about Thank this. You. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you for your assistance. Uh, hello everybody, ladies and gentlemen, visitors. Uh, I broke up the rules, I, I disregard the rules uh, because I decided to, to took this laser with me. Uh, because it is so small and I can bring and to show you. It is really wonderful laser because it's uh, cable free. In fact there is no fibers here and also the handle it is a lot of motions with this handle. We are free to work. And uh, now we are going to discuss the possibility to use this unique Erwin Yak laser uh, for surgery. Uh, first of all, I want to, to, talk, to tell you that I'm not surgeon. And this is interesting. Uh, when I obtained this laser one year before, I was curious if I can do any surgery but I'm not surgeon. Uh, I was tempted and I was seduced to use this laser for surgery. And now I will tell you why. Uh, you know that nowadays in the world there is a great interest for laser technology because laser technology provides really uh, precision work. Uh, laser devices use a variety of physical media as a source for generating different wavelengths. And the major point is what wavelength we need. There is a different laser on the market and on this very popular chart you have to see the absorption curves of the various tissue components. Uh, when we are talking about any universal laser, both for soft and for hard tissue, you have to know that only Erbium-Yak lasers can do that because they absorb, the wavelength of every MIAC laser absorb water and water is uh, positioned in every single tissue of a human body. Uh, something about every MIAC technology, it is important because uh, dentistry is involved in technology advances. Uh, most of the available Airbnb Yak laser today uh, has uh, a fiber delivery system, and this fiber delivery system uh, is uh, this is the the purpose. This is the the reason for many limits. The main limit is that the fiber-based Airbnb Yak laser lose between 30 to 45 percent of the energy, and this weaken the power effect. And uh, the other limit is that fiber delivery systems are fragile, they are breakable and also very expensive. What has the advances in the laser technology for recent day? You can see it, this is the first unique in the world laser that has no any optic fiber. The laser is here in this chamber and the optic system is a very simple, just some reflecting mirrors. And this technology is known as a light touch. First laser head in bit. You can see on the, this picture uh, the explanation of uh, uh, this uh, technology. Uh, the laser is possessed in this chamber and it's very easy to work with it. Uh, also, the system uh, has uh, different tips. This is a rigid sapphire tips with different diameters, with different, different length uh, that uh, uh, we could uh, use for any different uh, uh, cases, both for hard tissue both and uh, for soft tissue, and especially for surgery. And also the other innovation of this system is the updated software. Uh, there is a main, two main menus for hard tissue and for soft tissue, and we just choose, we just choose uh, the uh, what we want to do uh, by the menu. The software calculate the energy, the water cooling, and there is no any analytic process for us. 
what else the scientific background of laser surgery? The K field of research have focused on clinical performance of the laser and the healing process for uh, soft or tissues after laser surgery. Uh, the other um, interesting topics are the soft uh, uh, tissue interaction with laser surgery, also any temperature changes that occurs in the soft tissue. These are also questions under consideration. Uh, you know that the, the specific wavelength of this laser, Erbimiak laser, is uh, 2940 nanometers and this wavelength is absorbed by the water. Uh, some of the energy is reflected, this is useful uh, and uh, usefulness and uh, the other energy that is absorbed interact with the tissue. For this interaction we can uh, provide any heating, photochemical effects, uh, photoablation and photodisruption, fluorescence, ionization, etc. For us the most interesting effect is the photoablation. Uh, in fact the soft tissue ablation is due to the water content and uh, when the laser interacts with soft tissue, uh, the water molecules in soft tissue explode and due to this micro explosion we can remove slightly and very gently uh, the tissues that we uh, contact with the laser energy and the penetration of this laser energy in a soft tissue is uh, at about 0.05 millimeters. Uh, of course, absorption depends on different factors. Uh, this is the wavelength, the content of the tissue, the tissue thickness and the ray penetration, the superficial humidity, uh, the ray angulation, the contact or non-contact way, exposure time and uh, so on. Uh, here you can see the effects of the laser on soft tissue. When we remove soft tissue, uh, there is a, a very, very thin uh, layer of carbonization. Uh, then is possessed by uh, vacuolization layer, the coagulation layer is the next, and the native tissue. But the depth of penetration is, uh, I underline that, is a 0.05 millimeters, very gently. What are the clinical implications? There are many. In fact, there are no limits. Uh, this is a list of some of the clinical implications of uh, this laser in oral surgery. We can do a different incision, of course, to remove granulation tissue when we are doing a periodontal surgery or a periapical surgery, uh, or the best way to remove the granulation tissue without any damage uh, to the surrounding tissue. Uh, for implants, to uncover the submerged implants, operculectomy, phrenectomy, biopsy, periodontal pocket treatment, and uh, natural gums pigmentation removal. So, now I'll show you some clinical cases uh, that I uh, do for this one year uh, using this laser in my practice. I underline the fact that I'm not surgeon. I'm uh, a specialist on cardiology and endodontic and I'm not familiar with, uh, with uh, surgery. But I can uh, the ability to do a very precise procedure with this unique laser. Uh, here you can see a very common situation. A gingival overgrowth in a, a deep uh, cavity, deep caries cavity. It was a small children and, uh, and uh, what I did, removed. I just removed this overgrowth tissue, uh, free the cavity of any soft tissue, do coagulation in the same session, clean the cavity and do the restoration with glastionomer cement. Another situation, very common, elder patient performed endodontic treatment but the uh, restoration is off, it's a, a contemporary restoration is off and occur a gingival hypertrophy and this gingival hypertrophy do not allow me to do uh, the filling especially in same session. For this reason I remove uh, very precisely, I remove the overgrowth tissue, uh, do coagulation and in the same session I perform the filling. 
another very common situation. When we, you are doing endodontic uh, for premolars, for example, the tissues, the hard tissue are very weak and in some kind there is a fracture. And this fracture is combined with a very deep artificial pockets. And you have to remove this uh, tissue and to see the fracture line to continue the, the, the treatment. And you can do that in one session uh, because there is a very good coagulation and you can continue the, the treatment in one session. Uh, this is the uh, same situation but the palatinal uh, caspid is fractured here. The tissue is overgrown so that the tooth is appear like a canine but it's not a canine, it's the first upper premolar. Uh, you can uh, put a little bit anesthesia or local anesthesia with any spray and uh, in a few seconds you can remove this overgrowing tissue to uh, free uh, to the fracture line and to continue your uh, treatment. Another situation, it is almost the same, but it's acute situation. There is no overgrowth of the tissue, but also the caspid, the buccal caspid, uh, the uh, palatinal caspid is broken. Uh, the, the broken line, the fracture line is very deep in the tissue. And I wanted to remove the excess of the gingiva and to see and to free the fracture line to continue my treatment. Another situation, uh, this is an old fracture and surrounding tissue, the surrounding heart tissue is covered with the gingiva. I wanted to remove it, I wanted to free it in order to perform my treatment. You can do that in a one session, it's not necessary to wait. So, another situation, even more complicated, here we also have uh, a fracture of a part of a wall of the vestibular wall of the tooth is fractured and because the overgrowing tissue cover part of the marginal, uh, of the marginal root um, the dentist that perform this treatment uh, uh, do a perforation, a root canal perforation. It was necessary to remove the excess, the gingival excess, to find the canal then the perforation was localized, the perforation was treated with MTA and then we continue the uh, root canal treatment. Another situation, very common situation in uh, everyday practice. Gingivectomy for aesthetic rehabilitation. When we have um, uh, hypertrophy, gingival hypertrophy, due to any orthodontic reasons, and the the gum, uh, uh, so-called gum smile, uh, and uh, when we have to enhance the uh, aesthetic rehabilitation of the patient with minimal invasive approach, it is very useful to make any corrections, any gum correction with this laser in one session. Uh, Another case, uh, very common in practice, when we uh, have to do operculectomy, uh, you know that you, you, you are practicing that every day, you know that it's uh, very hard to do with blade. There is a lot of blood, uh, sometimes you need to do some sutures uh, to make uh, a coagulation, etc., etc., with this laser, because of the maneuverability of the, of the handle and because of the specific calculation you can do that in a distal region without any limitations. Uh, another most uh, complicated situation when we decided to do apical osteotomy also you can do that only with laser no need to use uh, another devices uh, uh, as a rotating machine as a purse and so on. Uh, sutura, uh, um, incisional making, uh, corticotomy, apicotomy, uh, removal of the granulation tissue, disinfection of the area that you treated, and also preparing the cavity for retrograde filling. Uh, everything is possible with this unique laser. And also, uh, I have to mention that recovery after this operation is faster. There is no swelling and the patient comfort is uh, very high. 
Uh, another common situation when uh, we want to reduce uh, the, the pocket depth uh, and uh, in this case is we want to make uh, some kind of a crown lengthening. It is absolutely possible to do that in one session very precise uh, using uh, one of the tip of this laser. You can see the situation there is an overgrowth of the gingival tissue and with the laser we uh, make a, a very precise, excellent design of the remaining tissue. Uh, we free of the excess, uh, also uh, treated uh, the periodontal pockets, removed the uh, granulation tissue and in uh, one week we have an excellent recovery and excellent reattachment of the remaining tissue. Uh, another situation, it's more severe because there is uh, more tissue to remove, but you can do that in one session. Uh, all the upper jaw, when um, remove the bridges, uh, when remove the carrier's mass, you understand that uh, uh, the, the line of the uh, heart tissue is under the marginal gingiva and you have to correct that situation to continue the treatment and it is possible uh, to do that in one session for all upper jaw. Uh, another situation, even more complicated, this is elder patient that has a very short frenulum and buccal insertion and for this reason the denture is uh, not stable in a, in a mouth when there is any function and uh, uh, we decided to do vestibuloplasty in this uh, uh, situation. Uh, we, uh, we cut the frenulum, we cut the, the uh, buccal insertion and you can see uh, we provided also after uh, removing the, the, the tissue excess, uh, we provided a coagulo stabilization of the area. Uh, this is uh, three days after, after surgery and you also can see the result. Uh, this is uh, two weeks after surgery and uh, finally uh, we obtained a very good uh, vestibulum uh, position and uh, also the denture, uh, the denture is stable now in uh, the mouth of uh, this patient. Uh, another situation, also common situation, also a very short uh, frenulum that some kind, uh, in some cases lead to gingival recession. You can reduce, you can uh, uh, correct this, uh, uh, if, uh, this situation very easily and automatically with this wonderful laser. Uh, also in uh, um, our practice, uh, some kind of uh, common situation are premalignancies, different oral premalignancies, and it's our duty, no but obligation to treat first to to distinguish, uh, to uh, to um, um, make a diagnosis, and then to treat uh, these uh, premalignant lesions. Uh, this is one case of four-year boy with a traumatic fibroma of a lower lip. Uh, this boy uh, was not managed well in a, in a, sur in a surgery office because uh, uh, it, it was difficult to do a local anesthesia. The boy was afraid of a needle, of a puncture and uh, the, for the parents it was offered to do that under common anesthesia but it's a four-year boy. So we decided to treat this case just with a spray anesthesia, a superficial spray and you can see the situation, we, we provided uh, spray anesthesia with 10% lidocaine on the oral mucosa and, and then with the laser in a few seconds we removed uh, this traumatic fibroma. You can see the wound uh, just uh, uh, after the removal and you can see it was one day after the operation and this is one week, uh, one week after the operation. Uh, in fact this uh, uh, this uh, situation uh, can be described as an excisional biopsy and of course uh, this, uh, uh, this part of tissue was uh, uh, provided for a histological examination, it is absolutely necessary. Uh, the boy was very happy, uh, it was uh, the session, it was some kind of a play. 
I show him the laser, it is a Star Wars laser, we have any uh, conversation uh, and uh, the treatment was really fast and uh, after the treatment session he was very happy without any pain. Uh, also, another case is uh, different cases. This is uh, excision biopsy of epulis, uh, also common in uh, in uh, the practice. And this uh, case was uh, more severe. This is a leukoplakia lesion. Uh, you know that these uh, lesions are prone to malignancy, and uh, you have to remove it. Uh, it is very difficult when we use. Um, uh, the uh, the common surgical technique, uh, especially when the localization of the leukoplakia is uh, on the you have the the dorsum lingve, uh, it's uh, very difficult because there are a lot of blood vessels there, and uh, the surgical removal it's pretty hard. We did uh, the laser ablation of this lesion, and uh, uh, we uh, we have a very fast recovery in a, a few weeks. Also, if uh, now I'm going to, to conclude uh, the, the situation, what are the laser clinical advantages versus uh, any traditional methods for surgical treatment? Uh, we have a very precise performance. We kill bacteria, this is very important. There is no thermal trauma versus the electrosurgery, it is very important. Um, increased patient satisfaction, we reduce anesthesia, there is no scaring, there is no swelling, bleeding also reduced and post-operative sensitivity is uh, uh, in fact uh, uh, very very uh, low. Uh, we have also a faster recovery and we provide safe and ergonomic treatment. This is biologically oriented treatment with uh, great respect to the tissue of the patients, to healthy tissue of the patients. What are the financial benefits? There are many, of course, because the treatment effectiveness is very high. We um, uh, make the, the procedures very quickly, short in time of treatment. The patients satisfactory is high of course and uh, because due to any fibers any fragile fibers uh, the main uh, the, we have a minimal maintenance cost uh, thank you for attention and my um, message to you express your mastery with with this wonderful laser thank you um. Uh, and also, it's, uh, it is my pleasure to invite you on our booth, it's a number 50, hall 4.2, uh, to, to touch, to touch, to feel this wonderful device. Also, at uh, uh, 12, uh, today at 12 uh, um, p.m., we have a lecture, very interesting lecture uh, on the booth, so you are all welcome. A.M. A.M. AM, 12 AM, sorry. <laughs> it's not midnight. <laughs> Thank you for your attention one again. Thank you very much for the talk. Thank you. Now, since we got five minutes left, we might as well take some oh, questions yes, from the yes, audience. Of yeah? course, uh, if there are if, any If you have questions. any questions, I'm available. I'm here to answer. Not yet. Okay. Later on. Thanks for being with us and uh, just name again the, the number of your booth was... Yes, uh, the, number, the number of the booth is 50, number 50 hold 4.2. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Because some... some some of you didn't uh, been on the previous lecture on Monday. We discussed the heart tissue. Uh, it is uh, the perfect situation that this laser combine both heart and soft tissue treatment. And especially when we are doing any periodontal treatment with open flap and uh, uh, we want to make any bone procedure, bone smoothening, bone remodeling, it is uh, also possible with this wonderful laser. In the same session to make uh, both soft and uh, heart tissue uh, procedure. Uh, we are all welcome to our booth 
you will uh, have to ability to work with this wonderful laser and if you have any further question uh, you are welcome thank you Dr. Thomas, thanks again. Thank you very much. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next at Speaker's Corner is Dr. Gary Bay, who is going to uh, introduce us to the uh, Endovac irrigation system. So stay with us just a few seconds and we'll be right back. Thank you.